Hello everyone, I'm Florida with ChargerLab.com. Today I'm here with CEO of Power Integrations, Mr. Balu. Hello, Mr. Balu. Hello, how are you? Uh, I have some questions for you. Uh, can you share share with us about the shipments of Chai's Ganges? Yes, uh, we started shipping uh, uh, what we call Powi Gan based uh, products uh, a few months ago. And we are very proud today to provide the millionth uh, Inno Switch 3 based on our GAN technology to Anchor. Congratulations. Thank you. Uh, so, what's the advantage of PI's GAN chains? Well, our Pavi GAN technology allows uh, the charges to be much smaller and much lighter. And I'm sure you've seen uh, the Anchor's latest one, yes. which is a 30 watt adapter. Yes. And uh, the main advantage we bring is that our GAN or our Pavi GAN switch is integrated into our Inno3 switcher product. And one of the challenges with GAN is because it's so fast, it's very difficult to drive and very difficult to protect. Yes. And we take care of that inside our product. So for the customer, it's very easy to design a power supply using our GAN product inside, which is incorporated inside our Inno3. So, can you share with us about some of the famous brands or your clients that already adopt the PIS can uh, Well, uh, uh, we, we can't specifically talk about uh, OEMs specific because they, you know, we, we have to keep that confidential. Uh, however, what I would say is that uh, I've said this before that we are working with multiple OEMs. And of course, you've seen that we worked with uh, aftermarket uh, uh, companies like Anchor. And uh, some of the OEMs have already released the product, and uh, some are yet to release the product. But uh, we, we believe that uh, in a very short time, you will see a lot more products in the marketplace using our public hand technology. Uh, we have seen more and more GAN chargers come to the market in recent weeks. Uh, so what's your view on the development of uh, GAN in consumer electronics? Well, I believe GAN is far superior to silicon when it comes to power switches. And so I'm very optimistic that GAN will rapidly replace uh, silicon over the next uh, you know, year or two. Uh, it really comes down to the customer uh, understanding the benefits of GAN, which is a smaller, lighter, faster uh, technology. And as you can see, it's already happening. Yes. We have now many, many products with our GAN technology. Yes. So I am very optimistic that this will happen quite rapidly in the near future. Uh, so with the price of GAN chargers coming down, do you think next year, 2020, will be the year of uh, the popularization of GAN chargers? Yeah, I, I truly believe so, especially because we have made it so easy to use with the, the driving and the protection built in, it is no different than using a silicon-based you know, Switch 3. In fact, if you look at the product, you can't even tell the difference, yes. except for the performance. Yes, our oh, Tiran should look at the charger looks basically the same. Yeah. yeah, and I think that's what is gonna transform the, uh, the this industry. And so I, I truly believe 2020 is gonna be a turning point for uh, GAN-based uh, chargers. Okay, last question. Uh, Oppo just announced a 65 watt GAN charger for its flagship smartphone. Uh, is this a collaboration between Oppo and the power integrations? Well, I can't specifically talk about any OEM, but have you uh, done a teardown on it? Not yet. Well, uh, maybe when you do the teardown, then yes. I'll be able to uh, tell you more. But what we have said publicly, is that several OEMs are working on GAN products, and as I said, uh, some of them have already released it. And uh, we think that uh, you know we will see a lot more products coming into the marketplace uh, very soon. All right. Yeah. Thank you, Mr. Thank you.